Hi, this is Jerry with VLScripts.com. I wanted to do a quick follow-up video relative to the compression tutorial I just put out because some of you have been asking what compression settings I use for voiceover, and I'm going to show you that using the built-in compressor in Audacity. Let's take a look. So as you can see, represented by this green waveform is the sound of my voice that I recorded for this tutorial. Let's click play. The ultimate fun fan and food deal is back in a big, big way. And you can hear that there are some peaks going on throughout this file. We're gonna wanna squash those with compression so we can bring up the overall volume. So let's take a look at that. So this orange waveform represents the exact same signal. And I'm going to go under the effects menu, pull up the built-in compressor, and already I have my settings in place. Now these are very common settings for me, a minus 23 dB threshold, a ratio of four to one, and an attack time. Actually, that's a little fast. Let's dial that down to about 21 milliseconds, an attack time of 21 milliseconds, and a release time of one second. Now the release time on this compressor, that's as fast as you can go, but one second is a pretty gentle release time and you shouldn't have any problem using that as a release time for voiceover. For this particular compressor, you're gonna to wanna to click make up gain for zero dB after compressing, and that's going to boost your overall volume to a maximum peak of zero decibels. It's sort of a, sort of a normalization function post compression. Go ahead and click okay. And you can see that that waveform has changed and let's hit play. The ultimate fun fan and food deal is back in a big, big way. Now, I do hear some pumping going on, and I'm going to maybe adjust that threshold. That would be the first thing I adjust. So let's pull that up to minus 19 and hit that compression again. The ultimate fun fan and food deal is back in a big, big way. Now you can hear it's a little less pumpy. Um, however, it's also compressing less, and that is the effect of the threshold. Let's, let's pull that down to minus 27, click OK. The ultimate fun fan and food deal is back in a big, big way. So you can hear the effects of the compression. But again, real quick, some common settings that I use for compression is a minus 23 dB threshold, a four to one ratio, a 21 millisecond attack time, and a one second release time, and then click on that make up gain after compressing. So, whoop, that was supposed to play. Well, anyways, I hope you found this useful. Let us know if you have any questions. Take care.